How far would you go to solve a mystery? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh There's my a... god, wait, whoa, I figured it out! That's it, that's it! That's what it. the? See, three months ago, 25 different custom hearts were hidden around every corner of this server. These custom hearts give the wearer unparalleled abilities, and 24 of them have already been found. But one of them, arguably the most powerful, remained hidden. Until now. Today, I'll be uncovering the true mystery behind this heart. The cryptic clues that go beyond the scope of Minecraft, and how the server put everything on the line to get it. This is the mystery of the Shrouded Heart. Okay, I know what you're thinking. What is the Shrouded Heart, and why does everybody want it so badly? I All I know is that you can't obtain it right now. But why yeah. would you even begin to start looking for it? Do we know what it does, at least? Because I haven't heard anything about this heart. I think your footsteps are silent, and then I think it has an ultimate ability. It has, like, a ring that, like, shoots out from you and gives, like, other players darkness. That's OP, what? Yeah. And unbeknownst to the players, soon it would be up for grabs. Two teams have had their eyes set on this heart. One of them, a power team consisting of five of the strongest, richest players on the server. Liam, Sharkills, Rion, Lezzy, and Nyrox. The other team was far weaker than the former and consisted of two players, Lopez and Danny. These two teams have constantly been at each other's throats since the beginning of the server. Sharkills' team wanted everything and every heart for themselves. Knowing them, they would tear through everything they could to get their hands on it. But on March 6th, 2024, this strategy would be challenged for the first time. As a new tweet was posted to the Soulbound Twitter account, the heart that had been rumored for weeks was finally shown here, in an image of a cluttered workspace with the caption, Find It. Little did the players know that this tweet marked the beginning of a multiple day long hunt. Let's do some Photoshop-ness. Hidden in the image? Where? <laughs> I brightened it. I didn't it's like anything. Morse code or something. So, I mean, okay, wait, so it's on the heart then. Because that's the only parts where it's like really black besides. Oh, the I see it. I see it. Exposing the image. <gasps> um, open it, open it up in your like, your browser. Oh, wait, I see something in there. Yeah, like it, it was like a zero. Oh, zero. Yeah, I see a zero there. <sighs> oh, it, all, all the question mark dots. Oh, wait, negative uh, three. three. Negative 300. Negative 300. Wait, oh. so then at spawn. Uh, let's go spawn. Negative 300. Yeah, then. Yeah. After brightening the image, players found that inside of the question marks on the papers were the numbers negative 3, 0, and 0. Without hesitation, they traveled across the map, visiting every single quadrant until. Holy crap. Holy crap. Um. What's Nyrox doing? Oh! <gasps> Uh, Inside this barrel lay the next clue to this mystery. It was a poem that read, Where the world's edge is not yet nigh, Half its breadth under the sky, Walk the line from center's face, Opposing paths an equal race, In lands where twin negations lie, Far from the midst under open sky, There a secret waits, unseen untold, At the journey's continuation where this journey will unfold. You know, the, you know that popular trend, Minecraft, but I have to stay in the straight line. Yeah. All right, let's 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 stay in the straight line. Don't even, like, try to move around. What's soul sand? Soul sand? Soul sand? That's not supposed to be here. You want to break that? Okay, I don't think there's anything here. Now, this was the first of many clues to stump the teams. You went out of the line. Oh, yeah, you went out the line, buddy. <laughs> if we're off, I'm actually going to be so sad because this actually makes so much sense. <laughs> Lopez's team, on the other hand, had an idea of what it could mean. Okay, so it's going to be, like, visible from the sky, right? Under the open sky. I, I interpreted that as it's visible from above. Is that it? Oh, this is like exactly where they've dug, I'm pretty sure. Why is there so much f wool? What the f is this? I found like wool. Okay, that means I got there before them. Despite being fewer in numbers, Lopez's team was the first to find the next clue and became one step ahead of Shark Hills. Oh my god, there's no way. They're saying that they've checked every world border and that's just not it. <laughs> that's so funny, bro. How have they not gotten it? I could tell them, I'm not going to. Where was it? Well, hidden deep underground at the coordinates negative 2500, negative 2500, or otherwise, half the distance to the border in the negative negative quadrant. Down at deep slate level, a 33 by 33 QR code made of wool was buried. After scanning this QR code, it leads players to a Discord server, filled with audio logs from an explorer named Nestor. Nestor was a player that existed on the server long before any of us. 
and discovered potential clues that could help people solve this mystery. Before he stopped his search, he uploaded these audio logs here, as well as some coordinates to help players find these clues, but he wasn't ever able to decipher them himself. This was up to the players, and naturally, being in the lead, Lopez was the first to show. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Oh, am I this determined to grief? Maybe. Uh. Hello. Little do you know, Lopez. We already, we already won from this. What? You haven't even found like the next thing. <laughs> That's what you. Yeah, but yeah, but. With how excited you sounded leaving the VC, I'd expect you to find it sooner. It's yeah. been a very heartbreaking journey. <laughs> <laughs> Our feet hurt though, that's all I'm gonna say. Our feet hurt. Sharkles was struggling and made sure to let Lopez know how he felt. No, what I'm saying is if I ever get an eye on you on Lopez, I know exactly what I'm saying on it. <laughs> oh nah, you better pray. You never get on the ropes or else it's over for you. Then eventually, Sharkles' team found themselves where they were supposed to be. It's a QR code! Oh my god, I can't believe it. Okay, I, can see it. I, I can't it. believe that was actually the answer. Dude, no, I can't it's, wait it's until deserved. we have shrouded in our hands and Lopez doesn't bro. Oh. From there, they decided to listen to the audio logs. This is log entry one. It's October 21st in the depths of a mine shaft. I stumbled upon an unusual pattern of ores. Not just any ores though, but a sequence of coal, copper, iron, and gold that just repeated itself. It struck me as unnatural, a clue maybe, but because of this I, I, I don't want to break it. I say this to remind myself I marked these coordinates in my journal. Maybe I'll come back to this later, I guess. Nestor signing off. <gasps> I found the mine shaft! I found it. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going through replay mode right now. No, oh, right here, right here, right here. Are we supposed to dig around here? Or are we supposed to? We start excavating. Five, six, five, three, five, six, five. There we go. These are. Oh no, these count. After spending some time examining the first clue, they moved on to the next one. This is log entry six. It's October 26th, and I'm currently deep in a dark oak forest. I found a clearing with a path leading to an arrangement of trees. Strangely enough, it feels like this is the only part of the forest the sun can reach. Here, the trees seem to have grown in a peculiar formation. It feels deliberately arranged, a marker of sorts. I'm not sure entirely what it means, but there is a path leading to it going north. I don't know. Nestor signing off. Sorry, Wait, 109, 109. Oh my god, hello? <gasps> that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. So I re-listened to the uh, log again, and it said something about how this is like the only part of the like forest that the sun can actually reach. So I'm thinking we're probably gonna have to wait until it's daytime. What does that make How does that make <sighs> sense though? What? One, probably two, could mean. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two times ten is twenty, so twenty thousand. So two thousand. We gotta go two thousand, negative four hundred. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is log entry twelve. It's November second. I'm in an old cartographer's hut. It's the strangest place I've ever been. There's just a bunch of signs on every wall. Every one of them has the exact same thing written on it. Each sign being made out of a different type of wood. I have no clue as to what it means, but it's an interesting find nonetheless. Who knows? Nestor signing off. Oh, Nestor, Nestor, Nestor. What do we do now? Oh, Minecraft is making fun of me with splash text. They were stumped. All of them. Without a doubt, this was the hardest clue to solve. So hard that something interesting happened. Yo. Hi, Shark Girls. Hi. Um, my team and I are, I want to say, fatigued. I um, think I fail. You have five brains and you're all fatigued. I'm yeah. one brain and I have more fatigue than all of you. Are you, um, you. you coming here to just tell me, oh, can you go to bed, please? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, what I'm saying is, I think that, like, us, like, kind of constantly, like, competing against each other and stuff isn't helping with that and because we all very much want to go to bed um we were wondering if you wanted to put everything aside and like try to work together for this last half of the arg because right now we're at the um the uh we're like the markers the dark oak biome thing oh yeah well yeah the spirally tree thing. yeah well i'm just gonna i'm just extending like the offer like the offers out there if you want to Help work I like the idea. Both teams started to work together. They realized that they both shared one common goal, to find the Shrouded Heart. And it was going to take much longer if they didn't combine forces. So they got to work together. To the drawing board. Wait, what? Well, what would be the oh, non-glowing yes, one? 
not the height because there's two different the rooms name? but yeah i was thinking yeah, like the names like in the like alphabetized yeah if it was alphabetized so, it would be Acacia. 363. as they analyzed the other two clues at the cartographer's hut and the tree formation they made some interesting theories all right so i think we just pray to dizzy you and hope that something happens okay so the dark oak the trees, they in the center point because it says you go there from the south heading north. Looking at the northmost tree and going around in a clockwise fashion, it spells out it's a clock because each tree goes from 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Something about it seems like sun is like the only place that it can reach. Mm -hmm. So it might be like sort of like a sundial time. in a sort of way. Yeah, like a um, time. I'm willing to bet it's 335. Yes, yeah, me too. That's just. I think, uh, honestly, when we do figure out the rest of the chords, I think we should go 335 first. Alternatively, it could also just be like a 37 or a 73. Let's yeah. put both of those in tech count. I, I still do think the ores could be something like 3565 five or something like that. There's five non glowing, there's 12 glowing, there's seven dark oak. There's five oak, and then there's five acacia. Our X coordinate is gonna be the uh, dark oak, oak, and acacia glowing ones. No, because there's there's three different types of like wood signs. So that means like the X coordinate has to be like a three digit thing, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Because the mineshaft one is like it's in the thousands. With everything they had pieced together, they finally went searching. Like five of these that are just like this makes me think that like okay. Wait, I, I gotta check seven. Okay, none. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's something. Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Wait, where? Uh, oh, where? Sh oh, shit. We were right, we were right, we were right. Where? There's no way. Oh my god, dude. I just, I like, my heart just kept the beat. The next clue was another poem, far longer than the previous one, alluding to the heart's main location. But there was something more to it. No, C O M. Wait, what the f? Why does this actually kind of like spell YouTube? What the f? Y O U P, but then there's the F. U B E C O M D I Z Z. Wait! Whoa, I figured it out! I figured it out! It says YouTube.com! Dizzy, Dizzy U! It says Dizzy U! Oh my god, oh my it does! It didn't take them long for them to realize that this entire poem was just fluff. The real clue was hidden in every capital letter. A link to this very channel. By now, their teamwork was paying off. They were flying through the clues, all thanks to their combined efforts. And their progression didn't stop there. Look, look in, um, look in, uh, the yeah, description. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dash LDC dash F I I. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait, hold on. Those are. Wait, wait, wait. What about the alphabet? Wait, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. A, B, C, D, yeah, E, B, C, G, just count the alphabet. J, K, L, 12, 4, 3, negative. Six? Okay, okay, no, 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 no. It's literally what I already put. Literally if you say six one nine, I'm gonna lose it. Literally what I put. It's this. It's this. Go, 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 go. Put it, okay, okay. It's, it's, it's those, it's those, it's those. Three. <gasps> barrel! Oh! Six, oh, we found it, we found it, we found it. We found it. We found it. I got it. Inside this barrel was the final clue, or, well, part of it. It didn't take Sharko's long to have an idea of what it could mean. Guys, yeah. yeah. Let me double check this. It's a YouTube link. Oh my God! What is this? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait show, wait. show, show. Are you guys ready? From here, the group watched a 54-second video consisting of the sound of a warden's heartbeat, slow camera shots panning over an ancient city, and as you'll see soon, some hidden messages. You guys saw something there. Wait, what was that? It's another YouTube link. Why is everything upside down? Are we just supposed to be looking for- Yeah, another thing right here. Hmm. Another- two things up here. <laughs> oh my god. Another one. <laughs> another thing. Another one. Burn. Okay, another one. Another one. What the right. fu- Okay, this was their actual final clue. By now, they had everything they needed to know to unlock this heart for good. However, this final step would prove to be the ultimate test of their patience. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm getting my notepad out. Okay, some of them are invisible for me. I think. See it right here. Oh. Okay, wait, wait, hold on, wait. C to N. Wait, let me make try to make it as easy to read that's, as possible. That's another YouTube link. Yeah. It might just be. Also, might just be. Wait, uh, can you can C2 you expand it real quick? What what's the final what's the final letter? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get. At. M M and then something else. There's something else that's happening. 
No, there's not. There's not. There's no. There's not. Those are not. T two N L B N Q G A X M. That's a new one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, it's an equal. It's, like, it's an equal sign. It's an equal sign. You were right there. Oh, it's an equal sign. Okay. I thought there was something else. Yeah, I tried that. Uh, another thing right here. Is that the same thing? Do you see that? Oh, the bottom right. Bottom right. Bottom yeah, that's right. something else. E W nine one C L. That's an L. B? I don't think so. It doesn't. It's an I. Oh, no, no, that's an I. No, that's an I. That's an I. That's an I. I'm, I'm an typing I. with the Minecraft font in my notes. L L E W nine B M Q E I B M Q equals. Is that two L's? That's two L's. Yeah, yeah. That's two L's. Yeah. That's the same. They're, oh, okay, okay. I think it's just two. I think yeah. it's literally just those two. It's, it's these two. It's base sixty four. It's base sixty four. It's another cipher. Yeah. The the second one says your friend. Your friend is. I got sent. S sent. Sent is your friend. Scent is your friend? You bastard, Dizzy. I know what's happening. What is what? it? And Sniffer, I don't right? like it. <laughs> Dizzy, please don't tell me it's a sniffer. <laughs> Dizzy? Oh my god. Dizzy, I'm gonna floor. lose it. On top of their sniffer thought, Nyrox also had another idea. Okay, so I had a thought about heart speeding in the distance. What if we need to count the heartbeats? How many of them there are in the distance? One, two, three, four, 21, 22. 35, 36, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Okay, that's gotta be important, right? <sighs> I don't know, heart speed in the distance, it could be like something needs to be 50 blocks from a warden or like the portal or I don't know, like a shrieker or something. I don't know, but 50 has got, got to be important, right? And that's all they got. After this point, the team was completely lost, but they did know quite a bit of information. So let's piece together what they know. They know that this heart involves the use of a sniffer and a warden. They know that there are 50 heartbeats counted in this video, and they know that this video is titled Hearts Beat in Distance. At this point, it's clear that the heart lies in a deep dark, but what would any of this information have to do with it? After many hours of theorizing, they decided to sleep on it. And on the final day of the hunt, they began to piece together the puzzle. Two multiple hearts beat in distance. I said that my theory is a warden and a sniffer had to be in the same vicinity as each other. Face the, face the wrath. Fine. Wait a minute, this isn't where we... No, the heartbeats in the video weren't just there for show. The title meant something. The plurality of hearts in the title meant both the hearts of the sniffer and the warden. 50 heartbeats means 50 blocks between the warden and the sniffer. Therefore, the sniffer can only sniff up the heart in the deep dark if a warden is within 50 blocks of it. This was it. They had found the final key to solving this mystery and unlocking this heart for good. And now that this was known, everyone involved was just out to get it for themselves. And all alliances formed for the sake of this puzzle dissipated. Just like that. As if everything that they went through together was for nothing. But there is one more thing. Remember how I said this step would prove to be an ultimate test of their patience? Well, sniffers don't sniff up the same thing every time. See, this heart was only added as a very small part of the sniffer's loot table. A 1 in 100 chance to be exact. So, everyone would need to stick to their guns if they wanted to find it. My videos are gonna be story times so from now on, bro. So what are we doing now? I said we're trying to go to an ancient city. city. Um, I'm gonna try and find a sniffer egg on the way as well. Let's go. Actually, oh, yeah, Liam, can you help me look for it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just saw the bunny. I just saw the bunny. Yes. Game theory. Mapad's final episode should just be on Danny RPG lore. Oh my god. <laughs> no, not, not the egg. Not the oh, wait. I just found it. I just found it. Yeah. Danny RPG. Oh, oh, wait. That smells dude. interesting. Bro. I think that smells interesting. Yeah, we have three right now. I'm placing them right now. So now we all wait like we gotta wait like 40 minutes until it becomes an adult. Yep. 20 minutes to hatch, 40 minutes to grow into an adult. 40 minutes? Are you are you joking? I'm losing my mind. I'm like in third person mode, looking down at all of them. Please come on. I don't even know if this is the right way to do it. But please. Come on! Come on! Come on! 
That's not the right one. Yeah, they're digging up. Digging up. Lots of torch flower and pitcher pods. Yeah. I'm at a stack and 47 of pitcher pods and 49 torch flowers because we've been breeding oh, them a bit. God. I feel like I've got to be the most unlucky person. I've gotten well over 100 sniffs. Eventually, about four days after the hunt began, Marix oh just got it. Marix literally just got it. No way. I'm free! Oh wait, ah! Danny's literally been here. Hi, Danny. Yeah, I've been here. <laughs> oh crap! Wait, so how how'd you get it exactly? How are you supposed to get it? You literally had to have a sniffer within 50 blocks of a warden. And there was like a 1 in 100 chance for it to drop it. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, let me add shark kills in them. There it was. The heart had been found by Nyrox, an ally of Sharkills' already overpowered team, and Danny was left to watch the chat as it slipped right through his fingers. After working together for so long, another overpowered heart was added to a collection of many other overpowered hearts. However, at the end of the day, this heart, like many others, can truly only belong to one person. Conflicts will arise and fights will break out. So was it really about the journey? Was this really about the puzzle? Or was this just about the prize? Because maybe the real mystery is what the future holds for it.